Thank you very much. Uh, I would like to thank the workshop or organizer for the invitation. It's a pleasure to be here and have the opportunity to show you uh, my research in template-free strategies for protein structure prediction. And in the last uh, uh, 10 uh, years, we have been working at IBMCC in Petrópolis in Brazil, uh, developing uh, methodologies, algorithms, programs, web servers for template-free uh, protein structure prediction. And in this talk, I will try to show you some uh, uh, methodologies and results associated with the development of these uh, programs. And uh, the protein structure prediction it can be divided in two categories. Uh, the template-based modeling, where uh, we use an homologous or a, a structural analogous protein structures as templates. And the template-free modeling, where you have other two sub you can divide, subdivide in other two categories, the ab initio methods and the novo methods. In ab initio methods, uh, you try to predict protein structures from their amino acid sequence without using any protein structural experimental data. data. And in the novo methods, you try to predict proteins without using a protein template, but you can use secondary structure predictions, protein fragment libraries, knowledge potentials, and all the information derived from protein structures. Uh, in CASP, uh, uh, the template-based and template-free predictions are uh, uh, divided by the, the target itself, not by the methods. And uh, for the new protein structure predictions, the most uh, used information extracted from protein structures or protein sequence sequence are fragment libraries, the use of fragment libraries, the use of secondary structure predictions, uh, the use of protein contact math from uh, analysis of ev evolutionary correlated mutations, knowledge-based potentials, a protein atomic variables. Uh, for example, tomorrow I see, I think that uh, Antonio will show you some results about the, this, this type of uh, uh, information. And the most successful uh, programs in the last CASP editions are Rosetta, with, with a, a template-based and template-free de novo method, the Quark uh, from the Zen Group. It's a template-free de novo method. And Itasar is a template-based method also from the Zen Group. And uh, we also develop our uh, own program, the G GAPF program, Genetic Algorithm for Protein Folding which was uh, the PhD thesis of Fabio Custodio. We developed our uh, own program, uh, uh, our uh, search algorithm. Uh, we have an ab initio method based in the Gromos force field. We have a hybrid ab initio de novo method with a hybrid, hybrid coarse grain and Gromos force field. De novo method with fragment libraries, how much number operators. Uh, all the implementation is in C++. Uh, we have a parallel code. And we also have uh, our own program to generate fragment libraries for the, the novo methods. And uh, the, the Abinit structure protein predictions are very, very, very hard problem. And uh, it can be divided into two sub-problems, challenges. First of all, we have to devo develop an, uh, a very good search algorithm to explore, explore a protein linear region landscape. Uh, the, the protein energy landscape is very complex and highly multimodal. And, and the second challenge is to develop an, an accurate energy function capable to correctly describe and identify native-like conformations. The problem is you have to uh, use simplified and inaccurate models. And uh, in, in most of these models, the, nat the, the native conformation is not guaranteed to, the, to be located in the global minimum of the hypersurface. And to and more complex uh, uh, scoring functions uh, have a, a high computational cost. And uh, we developed no, our uh, own uh, conformation search algorithm, a multi-minimum genetic algorithm, where you use uh, a global search risk uh, inspired in the evol evolutionary biology, where you use a uh, uh, population of individuals uh, 
mapping the conformation of the protein. We have uh, several uh, crossovers, mutations, and selection operators to gener generate an of a new ops offspring. And after this uh, uh, step, you have a very important point, uh, 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 is the insertion of the new offspring in the original population. Uh, usually, uh, the genetic algorithms try to uh, insert the, the, the new individual in uh, competing the new individual with the uh, worst energy individual in the population. And we are, we, when we, are, we, we, we were developing this algorithm, we faced a very complex problem. Because if you have, if you are trying to develop a, a, a very uh, important uh, algorithm, uh, uh, but if you don't have uh, an accurate energy function, you don't, if you f fail to, 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 to predict the native like conformation, you don't know if it's a problem of the algorithm of, or if it's a problem of the scoring function. And we, we, the strategy to de uh, develop our algorithm was to use a more uh, simplified model, the HP model, where the, uh, the, the energy in the global minimum is very well defined. In the hydrophobic polar model, uh, we have a, sequ a sequence of uh, hydrophobic and polar uh, uh, residues, and these residues are in a, in a, in a, in a grid, and uh, the energies of the conformations well, well defined is the number of topological contacts between hydrophobic amino acids that are not neighbors in the given sequence. Here we have the chromosome with the, uh, in each gene, we have the absolute direction of the nest chromosome, of the, of the nest monomer. You use the six uh, 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 operators for, uh, for mutations and two, uh, two, uh, one, two crossovers and uh, uh, two mutations two and two local, local movements. And we also use an, adap an adaptive genetic algorithm for the, the use of the op operator probability. And uh, the HP model is highly uh, multi-model and, de and degenerated, uh, like the atomic model. And the problem is how to preserve the population structural diversity and sim simultaneously explore different regions of low energies. We try uh, several... Uh, standard versions of the uh, uh, genetic algorithms. And uh, we failed to, f to uh, find uh, uh, the global minimum of se several uh, uh, sequ HP sequence describe described in the, li in the lit literature. And the solution was to uh, implement a phenotype-based crowding mechanism for the maintenance of the useful diversity. And uh, the key step is the in the, uh, of, this, uh, of this strategy is the insertion step in the, the genetic algorithm, where uh, uh, instead of trying to, f to compete the new offspring uh, uh, created by the operators with the worst uh, energy fun uh, individual in the population, we try to, to make the, 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 the new individual to compete the most similar individual in the, the population in the, in the HP model is the individual with the uh, most similar hydrophobic core. It here, here we have a picture where with a standard genetic algorithm where uh, at the end of, the, the, uh, of our run, we have practically all the population in a global or a local minimum. And in our approach, we have in a single run, uh, many uh, 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 local minimums are, are mapped in the landscape where uh, each uh, uh, local minima, minimum uh, uh, corresponds to uh, different hydrophobic cores. We tested uh, our uh, uh, algorithm with uh, a very uh, uh, difficult sequ sequence studied by other algorithms in the literature, the 10 sequences of length 64, five sequences of sequence length from 48 to 136, and tested by other uh, genetic algorithms, hybrid methods, and multi -cow. All the runs are we, we made for each sequence 
50 uh, in independent runs, the population was, uh, no, the, the population of uh, are, uh, 500 individuals, and it uses the two, uh, two million functions evaluations. And here uh, we have the results. And, uh, and our best results, and when, when we compare with the, the best results in, in the literature, we sh you saw that uh, our results are the, are, are the best ones. And in, in, uh, if you, you, you calculate the mean of the best results in each uh, run, we have also in many cases that uh, our mean is better than the, the mean of the other uh, 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 algorithms. It's a very good result. We are very uh, uh, happy with this result. And here we have a picture, for example, for a sequence of length 136. Uh, you have the global minimum with 71 contacts. But in the same run, in the same uh, uh, population, we have uh, another uh, a local minimum with uh, 52 contacts, but the protein was uh, split in two domains. But, now, uh, but uh, it's very, um, a very important question is, is we, we, we have a very good uh, uh, algorithm for the HP model, but is, is, is this algorithm uh, good for a uh, protein, uh, predict, uh, protein prediction with an atomic model? or uh, how this uh, uh, algorithm will be with, uh, 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 it, it, if it's really competitive with respect to other of state-of-the-art algorithms. And uh, our approach was to test, to use the, uh, the second 2005 test suite. There are 25 uh, benchmark functions to evaluate optim optimization algorithms. The, the, these functions are scalable from the dimension 10, 30, 50, and 100. Uh, functions from function 1 to fu function 5, uh, they are um, uh, unimodal. Uh, functions 6 to functions 25 are multimodal. And uh, uh, the function from function 15 to function 25 are very, very hard problems. Uh, this evaluation is very, very precise. We have to use fixed parameters for the algorithm evaluation. The tolerance error for success is well uh, 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 defined. The maximum number of function evaluations is well defined. The number of independent runs is fixed. And the function domain function is fixed. We compare with the six state-of-the-art alg algorithms described in the li literature using a 30 dim dimension version of the test suite. Here we have some examples of these functions. Uh, function 2 is an unimodal function. It's not very hard. And our algorithm is not very competitive with the other six. But for a, a function 9, we had 100% uh, success, uh, success for this uh, uh, function in 30 dim dimensions. And for uh, it's a very good result. It's a for, for function f15, f we have uh, also 50% uh, of success. It's, uh, it's a really, really good uh, result. And for function 19 to function 25, that are very, very highly mo multimodal and, and in 30 dimensions, it's, it's, it's a very, very hard problem. We obtained 0% of success, but when we compared uh, our algorithm with the best algorithm uh, described in the literature, and we, we see the, the mean error uh, of the 50 runs, we observe that our errors for the more complex and uh, 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 more difficult functions of the, the test suite, our uh, mean errors are uh, uh, lesser than the, the, the best algorithm described in the literature. This is a very interesting uh, uh, result because uh, it's proved that uh, the, the algorithm developed for the HP model uh, is, is competitive. And, and, and when the, 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 the landscape of the hypersurface uh, hyper become more complex, the, the, perf the performance of the algorithm increases, and it's better than the other, other algorithms. And it's also a very beautiful, I think, uh, uh, Computational strategy where you use a simplified model to 
try to de develop uh, 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 a search algorithm, algorithm for a very complex problem. And uh, after that, we, okay, we, we cons considered that the algorithm was very good, and we tried to construct uh, the energy functions for the out our automatomish model. And we started with a, an, an our autom force field using the Chromos force classical force field in a solvation term. And the chromosome is the phi psi and omega uh, uh, dihedrals from the backbone and the xi angles from the, the, the side chains. And we use the same approach of the IHP model where uh, the insertion crit criterion now is the distance matrix error between the, the uh, alpha carbons of the hydrophobic residues of the sequence. And here we have some results. Here is a good result where the global minimum is close to the native one, okay, 3.3 angstroms. It's, 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 it's the, <laughs> the, the what we want, the, the global minimum in the native uh, 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 protein uh, so a structure in the same global minimum. But here we have another uh, result, a more usual result, where the, the structure, the, native, the, the, the best structure close to the native one uh, is not the global one, but a, a, a local one. And another problem with the our autumn, our autumn uh, uh, strategy was uh, the difficulty to uh, reproduce beta sheets because probably of the side chain atoms that are moving and uh, uh, we have clashes and for the algorithm it's very hard to form uh, uh, beta sheets. And you move it for a cost grain uh, strategy where this, the side chain is now uh, uh, represented for a super atom using, using the, the uh, OPEF version 3 method. The it's a hybrid uh, strategy where uh, we use the classical force field gromos for the backbone atoms, the coarse grain only for the lateral chain, and we introduce the two more other terms, a hydrophobic compaction term and an explicit hydrogen term with uh, uh, angle uh, constraints. And here we have the, the results. Here is the coarse grain uh, model, and here we have an, uh, our, the our model for the same uh, uh, structure. Here we can see that uh, you, 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 you the, 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 the coarse grain approach was able to, f to form a, a, a beta sheets, and the our atom uh, was able to, to form a, 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 a beta strands. And uh, the, the main reason is that uh, using uh, a cost grain representation for the, 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 the side chain, you widen the local minimum uh, associated with the uh, beta sheet uh, 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 structures. We started to analyze a, a bigger test set with s many proteins of different uh, lengths and uh, pertaining for different class, alpha, mainly alpha, mainly beta, and alpha beta. Uh, uh, classes. And here we have the AWAD versus the cross grain uh, uh, models. And uh, here we have the best model obtained by, by these two approaches. And the cross grain uh, is a little better than the, than the our atom, but the cross grain is faster, many times faster than the, the our atom, and the uh, beta sheet structures are better uh, formed. But from the only the uh, RMSD of the backbone atoms, you see that the difference of the, the two mats are not very, uh, very uh, big. And uh, we also constructed a cost grain model with a multi objective, multi uh, uh, genetic algorithm. And we uh, compared the this method with the uh, two, two, three uh, ab initial methods, CABS, IPAIS, and EMT, developed by another b b Brazilian researcher, and with Prakar Quark from the Zen group, uh, I think it's the better ab initial, uh, the novel method, because Quark is not an ab initial, it's a, it's a, a, they, they use fragment assembly with distance profile, and a knowledge-based force fields, it's a de novo strategy. 
And when we observe the number of uh, uh, proteins with, for example, uh, uh, the best model with uh, less than uh, uh, four uh, angstroms, we see that quark and the single objective uh, GAPF strategy, uh, they has uh, uh, similar uh, results. And it's a very good uh, uh, result because we have an ab initio uh, uh, strategy against a de novo strategy. And here we have also a, 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 an, an analysis of the sequence size and the model quality uh, by the RM, 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 RMSD. Uh, here we have the sequence increasing in length. And, and we saw that for JPF in blue, when the length of the, 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 length of the, uh, the, the sequence become longer, the, the quality of the predictions decrease. But for Quark, the, it's very interesting that for some ones, the, 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 the predictions is not good. For others, very good. There's a, 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 a something very uh, random, but in, in our hypothesis is that uh, Quark use uh, fragments extracted from libraries and they try to extra uh, extract uh, distance restraint from these fragments. So I think that these results are a uh, good one because they, uh, they get, uh, they obtain a very good distance restraint from the fragments and these ones are pro probably, uh, they uh, didn't uh, uh, obtain good ones. And uh, we, st we started to devel develop our, our uh, 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 de novo approach using, using uh, a fragment, uh, 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 fragment libraries. Here we have the PDB. We extract uh, 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 non resident and uh, non homologous uh, uh, set of proteins from the PDB. And using the Profrag uh, program, you extract the, the libraries of these fragments, and using these fragments, you try to, with the, the, the novel version of our program, to try to uh, reconstruct the, the, the protein structure. Here's the site. The, we have a website for this uh, 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 fragment library generation. Uh, we have three uh, database with uh, 20, uh, database con containing only sequence structures with 20% identity between the se sequence, another with 50% uh, identity between, between the sequence, and we also have the Rosetta Val database in this, uh, uh, in, in Profragra. Pro we can generate uh, libraries with fragment length 3, 6, 9, 10, 11, and the uh, variable number of fragment libraries. Uh, the user def defines the maximum number of fragments for, for each sequence position, 50, 100, 200, the, the default is 200. Uh, we can generate fragments from homologous and non-homologous proteins, generate fragments only from non-homologous proteins, generate fragments only from homologous proteins, and uh, uh, the scoring function use only uh, uh, the scoring from a similarity matrix, for example, loss of 62, or uh, 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 a scoring function where you add the similarity of the matrix and the separate secondary structure prediction. And we have also, uh, you generate also uh, an output, uh, output for the Rosetta or GAPF. And uh, the fragment representation, representations is the black uh, backbone dihydro angles, C and C, and three bond, bond angles from the, the backbone atoms. And for each sequence, we have a set of, after the choice of these fragments, we have a choice of, uh, we have a set of uh, two, for example, 200 fragments per position. And here we have the profile of two, here we have uh, uh, the, a fragment library of three and nine resident length, uh, generated only with the similar similarity matrix. We have that uh, here you, you, can, you can see that uh, the fragments have uh, uh, many, uh, the three secondary structures, uh, helix, coil, and uh, beta sheets. But when you here you have uh, the fragment libraries, we're using the symmetry matrix plus the uh, protein structure, uh, secondary protein structure prediction. And we can see that uh, 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 the, the library is driving 
totally focused in the uh, uh, in the secondary structure prediction. And uh, you will you also made a, a, a study of the length of the fragments. Uh, what is the best way to use the fragment libraries? We study the length of the fragments, the use of secondary structure prediction, and the order of insertion. And uh, and the, there are many uh, studies in the in the literature that try to, to focus on these uh, uh, three problems, but they try to, to investigate these problems uh, using the scoring of uh, known uh, prob uh, programs from uh, uh, the literature, from Rosetta, Quark. And uh, we tried, uh, we, oh, oh, uh, in our option was to use uh, the exa uh, uh, st uh, exact structural a scoring function, the matrix distance uh, error between the, the predicted structure and the native one. We try to isolate the process of model building by fragment assembly from some common limitations associated with prediction methods, like precise energy function, optimization algorithms, and uh, using this D, uh, DMA uh, uh, scoring function. Uh, here we have a, a, a result. Uh, a important result where you, you, you use a set of proteins from uh, uh, different classes, and uh, this is the, 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 the mean result where uh, we have the blow, it's the blossom uh, uh, similarity, similarity matrix on, uh, used to generate fragments, and the C is the, the C pred secondary structure prediction plus the blossom. Uh, uh, similar matrix scoring. We saw it's a very interesting problem. Uh, when, when you use a, 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 a structural a scoring function, the, the, the similar matrix gives similar results than the spread and, uh, and blossom uh, strategy. And uh, the, 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 the fragment, uh, the small length, give the better predictions than the, the longer ones. But the, the another uh, uh, important uh, uh, finding is that when you, you, you use uh, mixed libraries, uh, yeah, the results become better. And in practice, uh, all the, the Rosetta, Quark, uh, 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 the programs use mixed libraries. But, no, it, it, no, but, but uh, this is another it's a, 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 a picture showing that the the, uh, the, uh, the predicted the model the constructed model using the, the, the fragments uh, uh, has a very good uh, uh, RMSD uh, with the native one for longer uh, and complex uh, uh, structures. And uh, another important problem is uh, you, you here you have the two approach, Blossom, and C are have the same, uh, practically the same results, but when you use the, 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 uh, the, the secondary structure prediction, the number of fragments, the cluster fragments, become we have a, 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 a lesser number of uh, 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 fragment clusters than uh, when we use Blossom. This is very important if you are dealing uh, a, a strategy which has to choose uh, 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 the, the fragment, uh, choosing the, 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 the secondary structure fragments, the, second, the fragments predicted with using the secondary structure pr uh, uh, prediction, you have a uh, 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 few uh, choice to make and uh, the, 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 the prediction become easier for the search algorithm. The, the problem with this approach, you, 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 your fragment uh, predictions it, uh, relies in a very good uh, secondary structure prediction. If you don't have a very good secondary structure prediction, your, you, your model in the, f in the final will be wrong. And b but with this approach, we the, 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 the model uh, it's does not depend on the choice of the secondary structure prediction. And uh, we also uh, choose a uh, tested uh, 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 libraries with different fragment size. 
and uh, from 3 to 20 because Quark and Rosetta now are using this type of strategy. And we show that uh, when you are uh, longer fragments of with length uh, uh, bigger than 9, the, 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 the prediction of the model becomes uh, worse. And you also show that if you used a, 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 a mixed, uh, mixed library from 3 to 20, or a mixed library with only 3, 6, and 9, you have uh, uh, almost uh, the same results, showing that uh, 3, 6, and 9 uh, are uh, the best choice to, 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 to make a, a protein structure prediction with fragment libraries. Uh, uh, another important uh, finding is that uh, oh analysis is how to use these fragments. If you are using three uh, uh, fragment libraries of uh, length 9, 6, and 3, uh, how is the best order to try to use these fragments? Uh, our greedy, uh, greedy uh, algorithm uh, has three uh, steps, uh, a local step, a global one, and a ref refinement step. And we s here we have the, the relative uh, amount of use of each fragment size. Uh, and we can see that in the, the first time, in the first step, uh, a bigger fragments are more inserted in the, in the by the algorithm. After that, we have uh, a, a, a the, the, the six and nine, uh, the, the six length uh, library is, is, is more used. And finally, in the refinement, uh, refinement we have the, uh, the library the fragment of, of size 3 uh, uh, totally used. It's a very interesting uh, 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 result because it shows that the, the, the longer fragments are very important to locate the, the, the model prediction close to the, uh, the, the regions of the global or local minima. And after that, after you choose, uh, you, you, you identify this region, you use the, 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 the fragments with uh, uh, small fragments to refine the structure. Here we have an exploration uh, strategy, and here we have a exploitation, exploitation strategy. And Rosetta, and I think other programs, use this uh, strategy in, uh, when they, they try to uh, uh, construct their uh, de novo structures. And we we're using these information, you constructed a de novo method, the GFPF de novo method, with a hybrid coarse grain plus agronomous force field uh, approach. Uh, use a secondary structure prediction using the CPRED program. The initial ge genetic population is generated also with fragment libraries. You construct a series of original uh, genetic operators that use fragment libraries and also uh, Hamachandra operators using also uh, the single and mutual obje objective uh, algorithm, uh, multi minima algorithm with uh, phenotypic crowding mechanism. And here we have a set of, I don't know, uh, 40 uh, structures for some, of the and we compare the GFP. Uh, the novo program of the, the multi objective program from uh, uh, Fernando Barroso and we have the quark approach, which, which is also a de novo approach. And uh, the results, uh, and when we get the number of the, th with the thir 31 proteins considered that has uh, predictions for all the algorithms, we saw that uh, the, uh, the the performance of the GAPF is, is good uh, compared with, uh, uh, with Quark, Quark. And uh, we are uh, confident for, for a small proteins, our approach is uh, a competitive one. And here we have some uh, 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 structures predicted with the novel predictions uh, from many many uh, different uh, uh, proteins with uh, uh, pertaining to different class of proteins with beta and alpha helix. Here a more complex one with uh, a good prediction with uh, 56 amino acids. Here we have a, a longer one, but I, I consider this prediction good. 
And uh, you also participated in the last two CASP. And uh, this is uh, the best uh, for CASP 1 on 11. You have uh, for three these three templates, uh, these three, uh, we have three uh, protein test, uh, test proteins. You have uh, uh, good predictions with our methodology. And finally, we for the CASP uh, uh, prediction, we use the the new supercomputer installed in at NCC. It's a 1.1 pentafopoly supercomputer, uh, the, the bigger in, in Latin America. And uh, I think uh, all the Brazilian researchers can be can be can use this uh, uh, supercomputer. I think that there is two uh, opening uh, uh, details for for submit submitting uh, projects to use this supercomputer and foreign a research can use also the supercomputer when associated with a uh, Brazilian PI. Uh, this is the, the group, the my group. We have uh, biologists, we have uh, specialists on metaheuristics, and uh, uh, people from computation. It's a much multidisciplinary group. And here, th here is the group uh, when uh, almost uh, a half of the group works with the uh, protein structure prediction, and the other half half works with the uh, docking uh, methodologies using the same uh, search algorithm. Thank you very much.